Afternoon, I'm Tom Hillen. And I'm Emily Leonard. First at noon, an abrupt exit. Former Speaker of the House Lee Chatfield is resigning as CEO of Southwest Michigan First, less than two weeks after getting that job. Political reporter Rick Albin is at the live desk with the breaking developments. Rick? Since Lee Chatfield took this job, prominent businesses and Kalamazoo leaders have pulled their support from the Economic Development Group. Even the Kalamazoo City Commission voted to stop payments. This morning, Chatfield tweeted, quote, for the betterment of the Kalamazoo community, he was resigning. Critics are upset that when he was a state legislator, he blocked attempts to amend the Elliot Larson Civil Rights Act to protections based on sexual orientation and gender identity. Chatfield addressed that criticism in his statement today, writing, quote, since then, I have had many thoughtful and enlightening conversations and have built close friendships that, quite frankly, I did not have before I was elected in 2014. I sought out these opportunities to learn from the LGBTQ advocates and allies to become more informed. I've learned, this continues the quote, I've learned so much in the past seven years, and the meaningful relationships formed in the legislature with members of different perspectives have guided and helped shape some of my personal views towards diversity and inclusion today. He went on to write, quote, I thought I could come into a community and find ways to collaborate and despite some past disagreements, which I was very willing to do so, but I was wrong. And as a board of directors to fit within this community and bring about cohesion with our partners, you deserve someone with a blank political slate that won't bring about the division that I've unfortunately caused. He also specifically apologized to the employees of Southwest Michigan First, saying that they should not have to deal with the negative backlash that he brought to the organization. We're working to get further reaction to this story. Look for more tonight on News 8 at 5 and 6. Tom, Emily. Rick Albin, thank you.